Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what do people like most about your look. So we're going to be taking a look at your physical appearance, your look, uh, basically what people like the most. So we have three piles to choose from today. Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest because there are so many of you watching and many of you watching have different features. So for pile number one we have Strawberry Obsidian and we have the Goddess of Light. For pile number two we have Pyrite. And we have the Goddess of Devotion. And um, for pile number three, we have Blue Howlite. And we have the Poetess. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whatever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be a pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, there may be more messages there for you. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the Strawberry Obsidian Crystal and the card with the Goddess of Light, this reading is for you, we're going to be taking a look at what do people like most about your look. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. I may mention certain things and they resonate, whereas certain things don't because a lot of you are watching, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Your card says, we are all sacred mirrors, reflecting back the same light. So, um, what I'm really picking up from this card, this is from the Divine Feminine Oracle deck, I'm really picking up on hairstyles, the way you style your hair. So I'm seeing some of you like to curl your hair, some of you like to straighten your hair, I'm seeing that clairvoyantly. And I'm seeing with this image here, you know, she has this very cute hairstyle. So maybe some of you like to do different hairstyles. I'm even seeing some of you like to do your edges, like style your edges or um, something about your hair color. If you ever dye your hair or something about your natural hair color. Um, or if you've ever gone to the salon and walked out in public, people think your hair looks really good or something about the way you style your hair. If you've ever gotten a new haircut recently, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm seeing that. Um, yeah, and I, I'm picking up on like creative hairstyles, like these two little buns here. So that's something people really find cute. And I was also uh, clairvoyantly seeing a phone. So I think if you ever post on social media or if you ever take a lot of photos, there's something very photogenic about you where people really like to look at pictures of you. Um, so that's what I see clairvoyantly. I'll get some more things as I go along. Let's first get your cards out. So even if you don't do any specific hairstyles, uh, something about the way you style your hair, your hair color, your hair length, something about that's coming through. So spirit guides of pile number ones, may I please look into what do people like about their look the most? What do people like about their look the most? We have decisions. What do people like about their look the most? We have support. Okay, this is the messages from Mermaid's article. I'm not sure if I mentioned my ADHD, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're now using the um, Astral Realms Crystal Oracle deck. So Spirit Guides of Pile 1. Okay, we have Smoky Amazonite with Regular Star and Abundance, card 17. 
Now we're using the Star Seed Oracle deck. Why is this a card in between? Okay, so this card was popping out awareness. I'm just going to keep it in mind. Um, maybe a lot of people are aware of you when you're walking out in public, notice you. Okay, so Spirit Guides of Pile number one. What do people like about their look the most? Maybe even with awareness, you're aware of what looks good on you. Um, like for me, for example, I know with my body type, certain clothes really accentuate my curvy features because I'm a very curvy girl. Uh, maybe some of you can relate because these two of these models here look very curvy. Um, or even if you're more slim, there's something about your body and like maybe the way you style clothes on yourself or the way you style your hair that frames your face in a way that accentuates what's already beautiful or handsome or attractive, whatever you relate to. So there's something about being aware of what you know looks good on you and following based off that. And I'm even seeing something about colors, like knowing what colors look good on you, knowing what um, jewelry suits you, knowing what aesthetic suits you. Um, and it's not necessarily like just wearing it because it suits you, but also being aware of what you like. Um, being aware of what makes you feel good, what makes you feel confident. And that's something people can see when you when you wear certain clothes or when you make certain decisions with your look. They can see why it works on you. And maybe another person would try it, but it wouldn't look good on them. So they can see why you made that decision. And people think you're very smart with the way you um Make certain decisions about your look and the way you style your hair, the way you style your clothes. That's what I'm getting. So people think it's very smart what you decide there. So we have fallen to my arms with surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Um, so I'm actually reading this card in a different way with extremes of life. Almost like you can pull off two different extremes, two different polarities. Um, so if I just had to explain it like this, if you wanted to dress up really girly, for example, you could pull it off and then dress in a way where you look very edgy and cool. You could also pull that off or I'm even picking up on some here where you can pull off hairstyles with a fringe and without one. Like, of course, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but there's something here about being able to pull off two different polarities, like you can wear this and that and look good in both. Um, yeah, styles, aesthetics, things like that. People think you have a very trustworthy and genuine and sweet face. And that's one of the things people like the most about your look. The sweetness you exude from your face and from your vibe, from your aura. There's there's a sweetness here, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of dark hair, but it's okay if it doesn't resonate. And also we see here reddish or ginger hair or hair with a red um, undertone or tint to it. So you could have like a strawberry blonde hair with like a red tint to it or red hair or um, red lipstick could look really good on you or like pinkish red undertone, something like that for some of you. Um, and I keep picking up on photogenicness for your pile. There is a certain type of glow and radiance to your face. Even with the light here, people think you are a star that shines so brightly in my pile number ones. And as I was about to get your tarot deck, I just want to show you the synchronicity here after I said star. So this card is facing upright first. So that's a huge synchronicity. Okay, spirit guides of pile one. What are people's favorite things about pile one's look? What do people like the most about Pile One's look? We have the Emperor. 
What do people like the most about Pile One's look? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Star. I love that. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Coins, Four of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Chariot. And at the back of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So this is the Tarot of the Divine. Okay, so my pile number ones, you're definitely a star that shines bright. You have a lot of light within you, even within your vibe and your aura. And I feel like with the star card, you're the one person where people perceive you to shine so bright. People perceive you to have a star quality even what she's holding here reminds me of movies and some of you might not believe me when I say this but it's okay but I'm seeing it like some people perceive you to be so attractive that it's like they can see you playing in movies or they can see you um, being on adverts um, like a model or on magazines things like that because you have such a photogenic look to you where you look so good in photos you have a very expressive face which is what people like about your look and you have that type of look that is very sweet but also you you have that star quality to you where there's a uniqueness to your look something that stands out something that shines something that can't necessarily be replicated and what i'm really picking up on here is people feel your look has a type of energy to it where um nine of wands gives me this vibe because the nine of wands is about challenges right so i almost take this energy here where i have to imagine you and let's say you're my model and i'm your makeup artist your stylist and we're doing a photo shoot um with your look i can almost like I can almost have like a challenge in a good way where it's not in a bad way it's in a good way where like how do I put this in words so let's say I was to style something on you that is such an out there look that doesn't look good on most people but then I accept a challenge and I really like a challenge and I am going to make this look good on you um or yeah, like that's a that's a vibe I get here. You have a unique face that can't necessarily be seen everywhere. Like you have that that it look to you. That's what I want to say here that people definitely remember. Um people think you have quite a memorable face and I think that's their favorite thing about your look. The the memorability of it. You're not just any other face people see every day. You have something unique and special about your look and your face, specifically your face. Um, something about your cheeks being quite cute, or if any of you wear blush or have rosy cheeks, that's um, something people find quite cute. People think you have a cute face and that's um, one of the things they like the most about your look. And I'd say with the abundance card, I'm also hearing a plane go by. People may perceive you to have that kind of look where you make clothes look very expensive and luxurious on you, where that even goes into what I said here, like you have that model-esque type of beauty, whether you see it in yourself or not. This is me doing the reading, so I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but the way people see you is like when you wear jewelry, you make it look good. You make it look expensive. When you wear um, certain types of clothes, it doesn't have to be expensive or quality clothing, but you make it look good. You make it look like you spent a million bucks on it. Like I'm really getting that vibe from you with the abundance card. And I mean, the regular star is also like Leo energy. So it's like you have that type of um, almost like Leo energy to your look where you stand out in some way. And that's one of the favorite things people have about your look. Like one of the things people like the most because 
There's just something about you, pal one, and I can't really put my finger on it. I don't think people can, but Spirit is showing me Marilyn Monroe as an example where she is a very, very beautiful woman, um, but she didn't have something specific that made her beautiful. It was her her energy, everything about her. And even when people try to copy her, it doesn't give off that same vibe. Do you get what I mean? Like, even if someone had to copy you and try to look exactly like you, they wouldn't give off that same vibe you give off. So I think it's a mixture of your vibe and your actual physical beauty, physical attractiveness, physical handsomeness. There's something very glamorous um, and like quality about your look. That's what, that's what I feel here. Um, definitely your body. I'm picking up strongly. People think you have like a glowiness, a radianceness. A radiance, not radiance, radiance to your skin. Your skin looks very soft and smooth. Uh, it looks like you moisturize or you hydrate a lot with water, like you take care of your skin. Some of you do a lot of skincare. I'm seeing some of you do gua sha or like get massages often where um, you just look very relaxed and at ease and that's something people really um, admire about your look. The most uh, and this glow if you ever wear highlighter or body glitter or something like that some of you could relate to that and I think with the support card um, there's something about your look where one feature supports the other so um, how do I put this in words like when you see certain women um, and men get plastic surgery and there's no hate to plastic surgery because I think it can bring out beautiful features in people and especially if they are feeling very insecure about a certain feature or trait and they want to change it and they felt that way for a very long time like I have no judgment towards that but I watch a lot of <laughs> not a lot but I saw some videos of this lady that does uh, YouTube videos where she explains what how the person looked before and what they did to their face and then oftentimes I'll see their face before and I'm like their face is so beautiful this feature really brings out this in them and this feature supports this other feature where they look good together so um I feel like for you, there's nothing that needs to change about your look. Like, you are perfect as you are. And even if you may look in the mirror and see, sometimes you look in the mirror and see flaws, I see you as flawless, even if there are flaws. Because it's like, even if you see one feature and you don't like it, it's goes well with your other features and if we were to change that it wouldn't be the same does that make sense I'm not saying you want to change your look but I'm just saying certain features go well with others on your face and your body and it just matches well that's what I'm getting here something about your hands your nails um look good people really like your hands or your nails uh some of you have like long uh, fingers or um, your hands are just very pretty and soft and your nails they could be painted they could be natural they could be you could have um, acrylics or gel on your nails but regardless there's something about your hands and your nails I keep seeing expressive facial features like even here they look so happy they look so in love um, like when your eyes are sad you have expressive eyes where people can see the emotion behind your eyes and it's not just like um a soulless look you have per se but it's like there is emotion there is expression in your face and in your eyes and people really like that the most about your look again I feel like you'd be great actors actresses because you can perfectly portray like emotions like sadness, um, pain, happiness, in love. Like there's a genuinity to your face, a sweetness, a softness to your features too. Um, I see a lot of soft features like soft cheeks. Um, 
even if you have like strong jaw lines, but there's there's like a softness to your cheeks or to your face, to your body, um, a very like romantic essence, but it's not it's not too um it's not too or overly seductive. It it more so comes across as sweet and cute. Um, but in a way, people really like this about you. And people feel like you are someone that's going to grow as you age. And the more you age, the more you're going to be beautiful. You're going to age like fine wine. Because I feel like some of you have baby faces or very youthful faces. Where um, as you grow older, you're going to really be thankful for those features. That's what I'm seeing clairvoyantly. Um, but some of you do have like a sexiness to your look. Um, especially when you're when it comes to your eyes. Like your eyes have a sort of ty type of flirtatiousness to it. I'm seeing a lot of brown eyes in this pile. Or darker eyes or hazel eyes um, and if you ever do a smoky eye that's also coming through or um, like I'm seeing eyeliner that's so sharp it can cut a bit like I'm seeing that um, or your makeup could look really good when you really get glammed up your fashion style too yeah there are some of you with a seductive look but I feel most of you have like a cute sweet look to you or you could have a little bit of both and um could pull off both elements where you can choose what you want to do um i'm also tasting food so like i'm seeing uh how do how do i explain the spirit people like that you're down to earth like i'm seeing you eat something and you're not necessarily, okay, trigger warning, I know this is a tough subject to talk about because some people deal with, um, you know, like, body dysmorphia or, um, like, don't want to eat much because they don't want to gain weight and, and things like that, and I'm so sympathetic to those that deal with that because I've dealt with it. Um, but it's almost like people are looking at you and this is what people are thinking of me and they're seeing you eat and not really worry about like gaining weight or anything like that you you're just happy with your body you seem very comfortable and happy with your body and it's like even if you sit down and there is an imperfection I'm not saying that there are but it's like you you seem comfortable with your body. You don't seem insecure. You seem happy with yourself. And that is something people really admire about you. And I think a lot of people that um, deal with sort of like insecurities look up to you in that way where they want to be comfortable with their body too. I'm seeing some of you um, post like body positivity things um and you you let yourself eat without without like putting expectations on my body like oh it should look like this or this do you get what i mean so i'm seeing something like that okay i'm also seeing monolid eyes almond eyes um hooded eyes uh specifically for your pile that people find very beautiful something about your eyes is one of the favorite things they have about you and your look and I feel like your look has a structure to it like of course it it looks cute sweet or very seductive but it also has like a structure and a, a kind of glamorous feature to it where it doesn't look like you're all over the place or messy or I, I don't know how to describe that but it's like you look put together is is the word I want to say. You know, you look put together. Um, and you look like you could be someone that travels a lot or... Um, I don't know what that's about. But you look like you could be someone that travels a lot or moves around a lot or is very active. Um, Four of Wands also makes me feel like... A spirit is showing me you have a very innocent, um, sort of like angelic features 
to to your face and to the way that you look there's also something about your smile people really like um and and the way your eyes look when you smile but it's like with the four of wands people think that you are marriage material um i think a lot of people just like you you give off that very approachable girl next door boy next door look um, and it's like a lot of people look at you as marriage material I also think there is a creativity to you in the way that you look like you're very creative with the way you express yourself and certain decisions you make um, and it's very unique to you where you're not trying to be someone else you're happy with yourself or at least that's the public's perspective of you. So this is what I have for you, Pal One. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pal number twos. If you chose this pyrite crystal and the goddess of devotion, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do people like the most about your look? So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, for your pile, I feel the energies of someone that is very creative with the way they dress, like your fashion style is so on point, so unique, so creative. And that is one of the things people like the most about your look. Spirit was showing me Jade from Bratz, the actual movie of Bratz. Um, where she gets out of the car and then um, she has really strict parents so she has to go with normal clothes but then they kind of huddle around her and then she gets dressed up in a look that is so unique so iconic um, I almost want to say slay queen slay king like that's how people are looking at you my pal twos like you are a fashionista a fashion expert or you're just very creative very unique um to you and it's not like you're trying to some of you do follow trends but i i don't think you're necessarily trying to look like anyone else but kind of just expressing yourself the way you want i'm also seeing in this pile um something about like you look good when you're driving your car i'm seeing something about handbags clairvoyantly um and like i'm seeing someone sit at a restaurant and you look so good when you're just sitting there like people like when you're just sitting somewhere um you look so good like people like to stare at you when you're just sitting and looking pretty or looking handsome um I'm even picking up on clairvoyantly, like when you're video chatting someone, calling someone, like you look really good <laughs> and people like to admire your features. I feel like uh, one of the favorite things and one of the things people like the most about your look is your lips. Like I'm seeing um, this pile has very pretty or very attractive lips and there is a curviness to this pile or at least... Um, I'm hearing a vivaciousness or like if you're not necessarily curvy and you're more slim um there's like a roundness do you get what I mean <laughs> like this I don't know if some of you have hourglass body shapes or pear body shapes or uh for my woman for my men what am I getting <laughs> spirit is showing me an ice cream for my men so people think you look very delicious juicy yummy like your body so something about your body um is one of the things people like the most about you like there's a deliciousness a juiciness um uh like people find you very sensually appealing uh where they're very attracted to you in that way um, I also feel like this pile as well as pile number one is photogenic so I do feel that very strongly and I feel like some of you have doll-like features maybe that's why I picked up on brats because I'm really picking up on doll-like features and um, also the chest area for my woman like I know that's weird I don't want to sound creepy but like people like when you wear things where you have cleavage like oh my gosh I don't want to sound creepy, but I'm seeing that. 
Um, I feel like this pile has like an elegant look to you as well that people really uh, favor. So let's get the rest of your cards. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number two. What do people like the most about their look? We have communication. Um, I'm also picking up with this pile if there are people um, that are in the, I don't want to say older age, but like um, maybe older than 50 or older than 40, 40 is not old, 50 is not old, but I want to say like people in that age range, like people think you look younger than your age. So for example, there could be a woman here that is 50 and she looks 40 and her skin looks so good. Like I'm seeing something like that as an example. <laughs> of course, I maybe don't mention your specific age, but I'm seeing that clairvoyantly um, where you have a very youthful look to you. Um, even, even as you grow in age, you have a youthful look. We have breaking free. I'm also seeing someone on the treadmill. So I feel like people think you look like you take care of your body. Um, and there could be some that are slimmer because these two mermaids look a lot more slimmer, uh, more toned. Uh, but then some of you could look more curvy, more like hourglass body shape. Uh, so I guess just take it as it resonates. So spirit guides of pile number twos, may I please look into what people like the most about their look. Um, I'm picking up on something about when you tie up your hair um, for my woman or like your hair is in an updo, people think it looks really good. And something about like when your hair is wet, uh, it looks really sexy. <laughs> um, or like if you have curly hair or wavy hair, um, some of you have like that beach look, like um, you look good on the beach. I don't know, I'm getting that. Activated earth, power places, lee lines, trust where you're led. Or like when you're swimming or something, like you look good in swimwear. Or uh, you look like you would look good in like a tropical place. Uh, drinking a cocktail on the beach. I don't know, I get that vibe from you. Um, maybe some of you have more of like a warmer skin tone. Um, that people really, ooh, they love it. Whereas some of you are lighter in skin complexion, but it looks very good on you. So something about your skin complexion, regardless of what you look like, but something about your skin complexion is also one of the things people like the most about your look and jewelry too. So we have Moss Agate, Heart Chakra, and Intention card four. And yeah, um... I think this is my pile of people. When you buy clothes, you want to buy quality clothes. When you buy jewelry, you want to buy quality things. You're you're wanting to buy things that are going to last you a long time rather than just um, for the sake of, you know, getting something that is trendy. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Um, I'm really getting here with the heart chakra and the goddess of devotion. I don't know how to explain this, but you have a face that looks like it's full of love. Um, you have an appearance or maybe it's just your vibe that comes into play with your face and your appearance. But you have that type of look that looks like you look like a very loving person. I don't know what that would look like, but you look like a very loving person. That's what I'm getting. Because it says, the goddess of devotion, I'm a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves and we have heart chakra. So um, you look like the type of person that really devotes yourself to people that, you know, when you really commit to someone, you're choosing them. You'd be loyal to them. You look like you'd be that ride or die friend. You look like you'd be that person that... Like, even when times get tough, you're not going to leave. 
you're going to really uh, work on the connection, um, friendship, family. You could look like a very family orientated person, a very kind person. Um, you could have a kind smile because as I look at her, her, her um, smile looks very kind and something about your cheek um, bones like when you smile uh, there's like a roundness to it it looks very good um, yeah I'm seeing really dark hair and really light hair but remember this is a general reading so not everything is gonna resonate you have so many cards Okay, let's look through this. You also look like you know your worth. You look like you're very confident in yourself or you at least look like you have come to a place where you are happy with yourself too. Um, people really like your voice and the way your voice sounds, your communication style. You really um, speak from the heart. Uh, people don't just like your voice, but they also like that you speak from the heart. You have this very comforting, um, homey type of vibe to you. And I think a lot of people are just very drawn to your look, to your features. And it's not just that they're drawn to one specific thing. I think it's your whole entire vibe and your aura. And with Breaking Free here, I'm almost picking up like you are so attractive that you may even have sometimes people get obsessed with you where they attach themselves too much to you or um, certain people that get very jealous of you but they become very obsessively jealous um, or like people that crush on you so much that they they can't get their mind off of you and it's almost like I don't think they want to. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up here. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So you look expensive. You look like money. <laughs> I think you may relate to part one. Um, there's a lot of similarities. But you look expensive. You look like you have quality clothes. But you also have this very down-to-earth look to you. This very approachable um, girl next door boy next door type of vibe I think I need to cover this card I didn't realize it has nudity oh my gosh <laughs> but again so I said something about your body and like we see nudity here so and we see a snake here so like there's this very tempting um, almost like lustrous vibe you give off to others where they almost like see you as forbidden fruit <laughs> um yeah okay we have the four of swords you have this very chilled relaxed look to you um but again we see here like people almost can't contain the excitement they have towards you like this creature almost looks like it's not relaxed even though this is the four of swords it looks like it's stuck there but it looks like it just wants to go towards this woman if I have to look at the context of our question. Um, so there is a seductiveness to your look that people can't contain their excitement or um, people can't contain their obsession. Uh, they're almost like starstruck eyes towards you. You know, like when you're talking to a person and like you get so excited but they're so nonchalant that you don't want to seem cringe or weird like I'm picking up people are like that towards you okay we have the full card so again there's this sexy siren in my view oh my gosh I love this um and with the full you have that type of look that is very free-spirited um again we see we see wet hair here. I don't, I think I said that to Paul one. Uh, but there's something very sexy about your look that people really favor. With the fool, you also have that unique type of look that no one has ever seen before or you can't find just anywhere. Um, oh my gosh, there's also nudity on this card. Why didn't I notice this before? So I'm noticing it now in your pile. <laughs> I've used this deck before. Wow. Okay. 
So yeah, people really like your body. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords. So again, people really like your voice, the way your voice sounds. That's one of the things people like the most about your look. Uh, there's something about your voice matching your appearance, um, suiting it well. I think people just want to hear your voice all day long. Um, I almost get the impression like when you're on a phone call with someone, they're admiring your face, like video call. When you're on a on a phone call, like they're just hearing your voice the whole time. They like to hear your voice. Um, I really get that strongly. Some of you could even have beautiful singing voices because we have a mermaid next to the Queen of Swords. And as we know, mermaids have very beautiful singing voices. We have the Six of Pentacles. So you have the type of physical appearance, type of beauty, type of handsomeness, type of look that is very generous. Like you can find many different things about your look. It's not just one thing. Um... And again, there is this vibe of you putting a, a, maybe like a lot of money into quality clothes, quality jewelry, quality uh, makeup, uh, like maybe even spending a lot of time doing skincare or spending a lot of time taking care of your health and that reflects in your body and your skin or uh, maybe you put in a lot of effort and time into getting ready and people can see um, your look has a quality to it. Does that make sense? It's it's almost like no one can replicate it. Spirit showing me, uh, you know those memes where someone tries to like be another person and they're like, you're that person the wish version of that person um like I'm almost getting like um you're you have this elegance to the way that you look and if someone tried to copy it but didn't like put the same effort they'd be like the wish version of you but they wouldn't even be able to copy you or emulate you because you have that very unique look to you with the fool that no one has ever seen before or it's hard to come across um yeah we have the six of wands so it looks like you're doing very well for yourself it looks like you're very successful um if some of you ever wear business attire or work attire out in public like let's say you you just came from work and you go to the grocery store people could really admire that or if you ever wear elegant clothing or business casual clothing or um Clothing that um, makes you look sophisticated is the word I'm hearing. People really like that too. Um, and formal clothing. Um, you look very successful. That's what people like about your look. We have the Nine of Cups. And you look, uh, you look very happy. Like when you're happy, when you're smiling. Um... You look like you have the things you want in life. And it's almost like... Um, people are looking at you as if you give off the CEO energy. Boss babe, boss man energy. I don't know. Like I'm getting that. Like you look like you have everything you wish for. Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, but with Nine of Cups, you also have certain features that people wish they could have, that people admire or obsess over so much that they wish they could have that. Um, it could literally be anything. I guess it would depend on the person that's looking at you. Yeah, I'm seeing blush, contour. Um, people like the way you do your makeup. Whenever you wear lipstick for my woman or those that wear makeup or um, when you get dressed up like in your nice clothing, uh, I'm even picking up like your scent. There's something about your scent that smells so good. Uh, like people almost want to obsess over it and smell it all day long. Like that's what I'm getting from you. And you have a very dreamy look to you too. Um, there's something about there's like a sparkle in your eyes. Um, especially when you smile, you have a beautiful smile. 
Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. You also have an intelligence to you that people, I know that's not part of your look, but you have an intelligence to you that people find so attractive. Um, and I think you look smart, you look intelligent. When you look, when you look smart and when you look intelligent, people really like that. Or you, you just look like a person that has a lot of knowledge and that's what people like about your look. We have the Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords is on top of Four of Swords and Breaking Free. So what I take from this is what I said before, like you're not wanting to... Um, stay in this mindset because swords is about mindset you're not wanting to stay in a mindset that has you with a war against yourself i think you are developing a lot of self-love and you're breaking free from any negative thought patterns that that make you um not love yourself do you get what i mean or feels like certain insecurities or you know, self-betrayal. So, uh, for example, let's say you want to wear something and um, maybe you are going to look quote-unquote extra or overdressed, but you look so glamorous and so gorgeous and you decide, okay, I'm going to dress down. That is self-betrayal, you know what I mean? Because you really want to stand out, you really want to be seen and it's okay to admit that. So it's like, I think you're, you're, becoming more comfortable with yourself and because of that people really see the difference in the way that you're showing up in the world and people admire that seven of swords yeah it's like you're you're no longer in war with yourself but i also think five of swords seven of swords um it's almost like people look at you and see you as so attractive that you do have some jealous eyes on you, wishing they could have what you have. But in their mind, they're also thinking, I wish I could be so attractive. Ah, careful what you wish for, babes. Like, is in their mind, they're like, they wish they could be so attractive that they also have jealousy on them. But like, that's not a good thing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we have Queen of Cups. Yeah, you look like you have this genuine heart like you have this genuine face genuine smile a kindness to your face um you may also have like this mermaidy look we have a mermaid here mermaid here like or this very like out of this world dreamy look that that is not like describable but it's very dreamy um you know, like a siren can put someone under her siren spell. Uh, I feel like you have that effect on people from your look. And when I look at your your look, I don't see a specific feature that stands out the most. That it's like, this is what makes people um, like attracted to you. I think it's everything about you. Like, for example, if you look at Beyonce... When you look at her, you're not like, oh, her hair is what makes her beautiful. When she goes on stage, everything looks on point. And I think that's how people see you. But I also think it's your vibe and your aura and your heart that is shining through. Because one thing I've noticed from readings is when someone's heart chakra is open, they are magnetic to people. They are extra gorgeous, extra beautiful, extra handsome and I've noticed that with people around me too, where I've seen really, really gorgeous people with gorgeous features, but they're so jealous that it's like their heart is ugly and they repel people. Do you get what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's what I want to say there. We have the King of Swords. So again, your intelligence, wittiness, there's also an intelligence to the way that you dress, to the way that you style yourself, like style your hair, um, express yourself, it shows through. The two of wands, so again, like, some of you have very fit bodies, or like muscular bodies, something about that's coming through. 
where people want to like look at you from every direction people want to stare at you the emperor you look very put together you never look messy we have temperance and i think with temperance like with the many arms like you can pull off many different looks many different styles many different aesthetics um and many different features and traits uh, look good on you, you know, your features and traits. Yeah, I think that's all I have for you, pile number two. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this blue how like crystal and the card the poetess this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at what do people like about your look the most so please be aware this is a general reading only take what resonates leave the rest because so many of us have different features so if it doesn't resonate just leave it behind so what I pick up from this pile, I heard the, I heard Ireland, so I don't know if one person's from Ireland, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but your card says, I love every inch of my body, and I love the women in my life fiercely, and you know, the poetess makes me think of your voice, people could think your voice is something they really like the most about your look, um, something about your voice sounding so harmonic and so beautiful like spirit is showing me silk like your voice has that silky um kind of like texture i don't know how to describe it but it has like a silky texture to it it's very smooth harmonic um you have a way with your words you have a charm to you when you speak uh, whether you realize it or not, you're very charming, my pal threes. People really like the way your voice sounds, the words you use, okay? She's also wearing a jumpsuit here, and I feel like she has a really nice fashion style, and I like the way she did her belt, so I feel like people really like your fashion style too, and if you ever wear any hair accessories, uh, that is something I see here. Uh, she's also curled her hair very beautifully, so if any of you like curl your hair or have curly hair, that is definitely coming through as well. And um, also self-love here, because she says, I love every inch of my body. So I think self-love is something that really makes you beautiful, really makes you even more desirable to others. Um, and for the women here, like I'm picking up on women that love other women, that don't tear other women down because you're happy with yourself, or men that don't tear other men down, like, it's giving me that vibe, and people can see you don't have a jealous streak in your body, which makes you very attractive, so that's what I'm picking up on, so we're going to use the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck, so we have the card positivity, this card already fell out without me even speaking, whoa, so we also have this card we have love okay there's definitely something about hair too i'm not seeing one specific hair color because we have really dark brown hair here what looks like black hair blonde hair and at the back of the deck like a brown hair so i'm not seeing a specific color you know a lot of you could have different looks but there's something about your hair people really love the most. I guess that would depend on you, whether you have short hair, long hair, curly hair, straight hair, wavy hair. There's something about your hair that people... It's almost like people want to run their fingers through your hair. It looks very soft and healthy. Um, or it just looks good in some way like frames your face perfectly falls perfectly even if it's not perfect it looks perfect like i've seen it myself sometimes when my hair is a little bit more messy and not perfect it looks better than when it's like perfect does that make sense so 
Uh, Spirit Guys of Pile 3. Okay, we have Lost Lands, Sell Memories and Gifts. You've done this before. I'm not even asking the question. Your cards are just coming out. So I feel like you have that type of beauty, attractiveness, handsomeness where like people are are noticing it before you even think about it. Does that make sense? Like Okay, um So we have two cards here. We have Crown Chakra, Moonstone and Transcendence and Fluorite, Asturian and introspection so I'm just gonna put one here and then I'm gonna keep or let me just put both here so I'm picking up you have an attractiveness that has no limit that like it's almost like ugh, I'm hearing slow down girl slow down boy like people think they can catch up with the way they look or um it's like, okay, let's say someone is wanting to become more beautiful and they're looking at you and they find you very beautiful, very drop-dead gorgeous or handsome. And, you know, they try to, like, let's say they, they think you have a good-looking body and then they try to get a good-looking body. But next thing you know, you have uh, something else that is more beautiful. Like, let's say you... I uh, got a haircut now and you look even more beautiful. It's like they can't catch up with you. Some people feel like that. Um, and there is no limits to your beauty, to your attractiveness, to your handsomeness. There is always like if you had to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, um, I feel like I can improve this. There's nothing really that needs to improve, but if you were like, okay, um, I want to be even more beautiful, <laughs> let me do this. And then you can, you can like always become more and more and more and more and more. There's no limit to it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, with positivity here, I feel like you have the most beautiful smile of them all. Um, I hear that you have like a very, almost like harmonic look to you like I don't know how to describe it but it feels very harmonic very dreamy I don't know if dreamy is the right word to use but it feels like a dream to like look at you and stare at you I feel like a lot of people daydream about you or you know like to stare at you but with this daydreamy look in their eyes uh because you have that type of look to you I'm also noticing she's naked here, so there is definitely something about your body people admire the most. Especially this area for my woman or for my men, there's something about your body that's sexy. For my woman, something about your body that's sexy, non-binary too, okay? What am I getting from this? You've done this before, spirit. A lot of people get deja vu around you. Like, they just meet you and then they get deja vu. And I know that's not really part of your look, but I think that's part of your energy. Uh, we have South Node at the back of this deck. So some people, like, feel this strong, intense connection to you, which is a past life connection. And then they kind of become enamored by you. I don't know if that's the right word to use. Um mesmerized by you by your energy too because we have crown chakra here so I feel like it's also your energy that brings a lot of beauty to you it reminds me of what I said in pal one where I was talking about Marilyn Monroe but I have something else to say about her she could be Norma Jean right but then she could also become Marilyn Monroe through her energy through an energy change like, she just changed her energy and then people would notice her as Marilyn Monroe. But before, no one was noticing her. So it's like, there's something about your energy that makes uh, people, like, see you and almost become mesmerized by you. That's the word to use, like, mesmerized, captivated by you, by your look. 
yeah this very romantic look with love like that type of romantic look where people almost want to fall in love with you i think that's the best way to describe it I do, when I said dreamy, I didn't know whether that was the right word to use, but I feel like romantic essence is what I want to use, where it's like people want to fall in love with you. And you also have this joyful look to your face, this very positive look to your face. You look like a very happy person, even if you don't smile a lot, but your smile is something people love, so you should... Um, I don't want to say you should smile more, that sounds cringe because I hate when people say that to me, but it's like there's something beautiful about your smile, so um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> okay, with fluoride here, introspection, I feel like you have gone in inwards a lot. I have trouble speaking during your reading, like maybe people feel a little bit flustered around you. It's like I'm scared to use the wrong words and make you angry. I know you're not going to get angry at me, but it's like maybe um, maybe you have like that intimidation factor to you as well where like people like you so much that they don't want to say the wrong thing to offend you accidentally. I don't know if you've ever seen situations or scenarios where like let's say you're talking to a person and you can see they find you attractive and then next thing they say something wrong and it angers you and you're like no I don't want to talk to you anymore but then they're like but wait but wait like I've seen that before so you have people almost like um tripping over their words a little bit okay introspection this is making me feel like you've You've looked at yourself a lot in the mirror, not in the sense of vain, not in the sense of um, insecurity. I don't feel that energy, but it could be like, I guess we've all maybe had insecurities. But I, I feel like in the way of, if I really had to study your beauty, if you were in person, I would look at every feature and I would really focus on you and I could write an essay on what makes you beautiful, what makes you attractive, what makes you handsome, based on different different people here watching. Um, if I really had to study your beauty, I would know exactly, pinpoint what, and like, it's almost like people want to stare at you and stare at your features intensely like I don't know how to say that without sounding creepy but yeah um and with fluoride you get that fluoride is a crystal of focus so you have that type of look where people just want to focus all their attention on you even when they're speaking to you they just want to focus all their attention on you you could also have that very focused look when you're out in public like you're very focused on yourself you're not necessarily worrying what people are thinking about you looking around you're focused on what you are there to do so let's say you're going shopping for a dress you're going in there with a mission to find that dress you're not looking around and then you don't even notice how many people are staring at you um and i think it's that romantic essence you have mixed with your energy and mix with like an element of seductiveness and this energy of like people almost wanting to fall in love with you and it's not just always um in a like love way like in a crush way I feel like people also develop friendship crushes on you where I don't know if you've ever seen like a movie where there's a very beautiful woman and she has that romantic essence to her. I'll use the notebook as an example, how she looks in that I'm a woman, but I'm not attracted to women, I'm attracted to men. But like I could look at her and almost like fall in love with her. Do you get what I mean? I feel like you have that type of look. Um, or like I could look at her and like be like, oh, I want to be friends with her. Like I feel like that, like you give off that vibe. Um, but you've also looked at yourself a lot in the mirror in the sense of knowing what what you feel good in and what you don't. So with I love every inch of my body, I feel like for you it's about not only looking good but about comfort. So uh, people feel like you look comfortable in your clothes. People feel like you're not 
not necessarily trying too hard to impress anyone you're just being yourself and it's like there's a comfortability factor to what you're wearing and there's also this factor to what you're wearing of like looking at yourself and seeing what looks good like okay this looks out of place what can we add an accessory here just like with this jumpsuit I'm sure if she wore it with no belt it would look out of place but then I said I like that she added the belt so maybe you have that eye for detail that's what I'm getting to the eye for detail that people really like and admire <laughs> okay I spoke so much that I don't even know how long this reading is. Oh my gosh, it's pile three. But I feel like you have that effect on people where they... I, I feel like I don't want to say the wrong words to you. Okay. I just want to say your smile is so gorgeous, so handsome. It makes people fall in love. Like I'm hearing, so this is love, so this is love. <laughs> okay. So we're going to look at your tarot cards one by one because there are so many here. So this just shows there is a lot to you that makes you attractive. We have the two of pentacles. I'm getting that you, some of you have very symmetrical faces. Or even if it's not symmetrical, it looks good on you. Um, there is an overall balance to your features and like pile number two it's not just one feature that stands out and makes you shine it's everything everything looks good in coordination and supports each feature does that make sense if some of you have tattoos that could come up um, we have the nine of cups I feel like a lot of people wish to be in your place I picked up on that earlier where they're like wanting to catch up with you in in terms of the way you look. Um, but there's a lot of features you have that people wish they could have or kind of like they wish they could have that effect you have on others um, because they see you as very likable by others, you know, in terms of the way that you look, but also your vibe and your aura. They see a lot of people just being infatuated with you and they want that too or they want to feel good about themselves the way you do. Um, again, your voice is coming up. Something about your voice is very gorgeous, very handsome, very attractive. So yeah, I think a lot of people wish to have things you have, like maybe even you wear a handbag and... Uh, people wish to have that or you wear a top and they're like oh I really love that top I wish I knew where that person got it so I could get it um, or the way your hair is like maybe you have uh, wavy hair and someone that has straight hair really wishes they had wavy hair and wishes they had your hair that's what the nine of cups energy is giving here and queen of swords I'm getting this vibe like people People feel like you speak with purpose. You don't speak to just speak. And that's something they really like about you too. We have the Six of Wands. So you look very successful, the devil. I think, again, that's the jealousy I was picking up on. And I think people get very obsessed with you very quickly. King of Swords. So there's similarities between Pile two and pile one but I think your pile is unique on its own so I don't I don't know if you weren't drawn to the piles I'm not saying to go watch it but there's some similarities here so there's also a seductiveness to you in the way that you look with the devil like almost like fiery yummy seductive <laughs> Uh, but also, yeah, I think a lot of people are jealous of you. Look here, the Nine of Wands. The Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. 
I think a lot of people wish they could be comfortable with themselves as much as you are with yourself. A lot of people maybe wish they could feel good about themselves when they look in the mirror, um, feel happy with themselves. And I think a lot of what they wish for is not just a feature they wish for, for from you, but they wish they could have that effect on people where people crush on them or, you know, start to like them or where people admire them or notice them. Um, so they wish they could be as comfortable with themselves as they perceive you to be. So I know we're doing a reading on what people like the most about your look. But for you, I don't feel like I fulfilled the reading because, but I don't feel like there is one specific feature. Like I said, everything harmonizes together in the most beautiful way. And I think Spirit is more so talking about how people feel about your attractiveness and the effect your attractiveness has on others. If you've had people treat you a certain way where you walk into the room, you haven't said anything, but they're just rude and standoffish, this is why it's jealousy. We have the six of coins. So again, it's like we can always find more things about your beauty, your attractiveness. Like I said before, if I had to write an essay, I would look at you again and find 50 more things about you that are so gorgeous, so handsome, so attractive. We have the Queen of Cups. So yeah, it's your energy as well with the Queen of Cups. You're so in touch with your own heart. You're such a sweet and kind and generous and positive person that people are naturally drawn to your energy, that people feel your energy and they feel your vibe. Even if they're not psychic, most people can read tarot cards if they really, you know, are able to um, be receptive to the energy most times humans can feel energy but they don't realize it so I feel like a lot of times people are not just looking at your look but also feeling your energy and your kind heart is what truly makes you beautiful your sweetness uh, your depth there's a lot of depth to your beauty like we can find more and more and more and more and it's never ending we have the two of wands so for my men, um, you could have a very nice muscles, things like that. The sun, for my woman too, and non-binary, seven of coins. I'm getting fiery hot. The sun, fiery hot. Here, fiery hot, like, like, spicy like is the word I'm hearing like ooh. so the sun here is telling me you have that type of look that makes you stand out but again your your positivity your smile your bright energy uh, you have this very colorful vibe to you that that makes people very attracted to you because I can say that when I have seen certain people and I find them so beautiful, but then I look at them and they're such an optimistic person, um, you know, and then I look at them and then I realize that's, that makes them shine even more because it's like they make people feel comfortable, they make people feel like they can open up, because I know for me, sometimes I have a resting bitch face, so like when people talk to me, I can sometimes be like they don't know if I'm upset or what but I feel like with you with the sun here you just give off this very happy-go-lucky vibe I said something about intimidation factor earlier I do see that but I don't think it's like I don't think you have that um look to you where they think that you'd be upset with them but more so you're just so attractive that they want to impress you, that they don't want to say the wrong thing or rub you the wrong way. Do you get what I mean? 
Okay, we have justice. Um, you're also a really truthful and honest person, and that's something people find very beautiful about you. Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Swords. I'm hearing a sound on TikTok or Instagram, I don't know, but it's like you have the type of look that could make other girls cry or other girls jealous or other girls worry, like, I don't know what the sound is exactly, but that's what I'm hearing when I pulled this card. Sorry for laughing, but yeah, it's sad, but you know what? It happens. Like, you can't live your life and make yourself small because other girls or other men are, other women, other men are jealous. You know what I mean? Maybe they're learning a lesson to, to love themselves more through you. So we have six of cups. Yeah, I'm, I keep picking up on that energy. Like, in the past, people have treated you weirdly and then you didn't know why and you were so kind to them. But it's because they're intimidated by you because they're like worried that you almost like steal all the tension away from them. Because your type of attractiveness gets a lot of attention. Makes you almost seem very lucky. Um, like I feel like you have pretty privilege, pal. Three. We have the ace of coins and there's nothing wrong with that. We have the eight of pentacles. Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, you have so many cards and it just shows, we have the Emperor, okay, I feel like you always look put together to others, like others almost see you as perfect, pile three, I'm just gonna be honest, you may not see yourself as that, but I see you as perfect, <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I feel like sometimes people don't feel good about themselves and then they, they kind of project that onto you because you have that ultimate self-love. Going back to what we said in the beginning, you've worked on yourself a lot. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You've worked on yourself a lot and I think they're not just wishing for your quote-unquote attractiveness you are, but it's also maybe they're missing self-love. Maybe that's what they're missing because I've seen people where they're so gorgeous, so attractive, but, you know, they've they've been taught to not love themselves and then they don't see it. They don't see what other people see in them. Do you get what I mean? So... I feel like those people are learning lessons of self-love through you because they want what you have, but they don't realize that the missing piece is self-love. Enough about that energy. Everything else I see is like, you always look put together. You always look good. You always carry yourself in a, a very beautiful way. It's your vibe, it's your aura, it's everything about you, pal three. I really think you have such a beautiful soul, such a beautiful energy, beautiful personality, beautiful attractive face and um, body. I think that's all I have for you, pal three. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!